All right, look like Rod Burgundy right there. All right, guys, Coda Boy 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting at the Freedom Desk. Gentleman made that comment yesterday. I thought it kind of stuck. I mean, we've got the Freedom Shack, we've got the Freedom Review Table, we've got the Freedom Office, and now we've got the Freedom Desk. I was uh, looking through the news today, and I saw something very interesting on the uh, Fox.com news, and it basically says uh, what Biden can do without Congress in regards to uh, the wonders of gun control. So anyway, let's just go ahead and, and jump into the details here. Experts say President Biden could use executive authority to restrict background checks and regulatory authority to slow down arms sales. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. I'm, I'm not going to just read this to you. I want to make some comments because this is what I love to do. Uh, so you've got a president who can, through regulation, uh, reduce the amount of firearms that are sold in the country, uh, reducing the ability for individuals to exercise their Second Amendment right. Because, uh, Joe, I'm not quite sure you understand, but we're not Canada, okay, where they think that uh, owning a firearm is a privilege. No, see – you got to understand this, that owning a firearm, regardless of what type of firearm it is, is our right given to us by God. Our founding fathers wrote it in there to protect us from tyrants such as yourself. So that, I thought that meant well. Okay, so here we go. Gun control wasn't part of the new president's first batch of dozen, uh, dozens of executive orders. Man, it made no sense. But less than a month into the administration, Biden officials are meeting with advocates demanding gun reform. Think about that. He's meeting with one side. Guy has no plan of, of reaching across the aisle. He knows what he's wanting to do, and he's going to try to do it. And these individuals, like Moms the Man Action Now, Every Town for New Town, Michael Bloomberg, those guys are lining up to help. And I'm sure that they were lining up to write checks to Joe Biden in an effort to get him elected. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Domestic policy advisor Susan Rice. Yeah, here she is. Susan Rice. You remember her from, oh, I don't know, the Benghazi thing? Uh, and White House Public Engagement Director Cedric Richmond met virtually with gun control groups Wednesday, reiterating their commitment to common sense steps. Now, let's talk about common sense. Common sense, by definition, is what a certain person thinks is common. And what we are running up into right now is that a certain lineage of people or these individuals over here who are far left leaning anti-gun group, they have all these things in common. And their only thing that they have in common is a common sense that they do not like firearms. Majority of these people have probably never even held a firearm, yet they are here to go ahead, well, let's say register, take away, buy back, all those ring a bell. Yeah. Officials familiar with the meeting said Biden was prepared to use any avenue, including executive action, to take these steps. Now, exactly what kind of executive actions can he take? We'll talk about that in a minute. But Americans are divided on the matter. 57% support stricter gun laws, a four-year low. you got to think that this country just went through an amazing firearm purchase history. I think alone in January there were, what, 20 million NICS checks? Uh, so you've got to keep in mind that people who were not normally a firearm owner now are, and they just bought their new firearm. And here again, somebody from, well, the Biden administration wants you to register that firearm so that you can all oh, participate in a mandatory buyback later on when they just deem that uh, you should not or you are not to be trusted with that particular firearm. All right, let's see. Uh, though Democrats enjoy a razor-thin advantage in the Senate, the new gun legislation would be hard-pressed to clear a 60-vote filibuster hurdle. Totally agree with that. Uh, so in order for them to do a uh, actual, I guess, what do you call a, an American sporting rifle ban or uh, an American sporting rifle uh, standard magazine, let's just say that, uh, they would have to have that 60-40 uh, vote in the Senate. There's a lot of gun-toting Democrats out there, ladies and gentlemen. Joe Biden is just the one with translucent skin. All right, let's talk about this. Uh, the Second Amendment advocates say Biden doesn't have the authority to ban assault weapons or magazine capacity by executive order, but could use regulatory authority to restrict guns without Congress's input. Uh, a gentleman named Alan Gottlieb, uh, 
tell me if I'm pronouncing that correctly, of the Second Amendment Foundation, told Fox, I think that President Biden will try to get away with as much as he can with executive orders. And I'm surprised he has not already started. One of which is the uh, importation of uh, sporting rifles, which could put a sporting magazine standard capacity magazine, he could ban the importation of that. As a matter of fact, that was the biggest thing of Kamala uh, saying that the, within the first 100 days she would sign an executive order banning the importation of um, uh, sporting rifles. What we're expecting him to do is anything with foreign commerce. If the firearm is being imported or a magazine or ammo is being imported in, he could by executive order try to do something in that nature. Which means like all the Tula ammo, uh, Tiger, all those cool ammos that come from overseas. Uh, Aguila, uh, a bunch of it. Gottlieb said Biden could use the ATF and to tighten regulations, he says, are beyond the scope of what Congress has given him the authority to do, in which case, he says, the foundation is prepared to sue. Hell yes. We've got a very strong stance in the Supreme Court right now. We also have the largest uh, conservative set of federal judges that sit on the bench in history. So the ability to go ahead and overturn any of these BS things that Biden wants to do is huge. He also said the administration could slow walk the background check process, which is overloaded as gun sales are on the rise. Yeah, absolutely. And that's just what I say, tyrannical. To prevent you from being able to exercise your Second Amendment right is tyrannical. Gun control advocates say the White House could take executive action to expand the background check system by redefining who is in the business of selling guns. Throughout his presidential campaign and his entire career, President Biden has consistently demonstrated that ending gun violence is one of his top priorities. Yeah, by taking away firearms from uh, law-abiding citizens. I could see exactly where that would really help with this gun violence thing. Let's just call it violence. Regardless of what, what the, the tool being used, it's called violence. And as long as there are out, people out there who intend to do violent things, they will continue to do it regardless of what they have. So, hey, Joe, it's really nice of you to take our ability to protect ourselves away from us. Unbelievable. I had uh, another email from a gentleman who is from Russia. We'll be talking about that one tomorrow because I feel like that's a really, really good uh, thing to read to you guys because it does relate to what we're doing right now. Tuesday, Saki, whatever her name is, reiterated that gun control is a priority to him on a personal level. I'd like to know what kind of personal level you're talking about. She said the White House had yet to propose. I love the way she talks. She always ends everything with a... Uh, because she talks down to you. She's better than you. She's, you know, educated. She makes you feel like an idiot. Not me, but she tries to make everyone look like they're morons. And I love the easy questions that she gets, but that's on a different subject. The White House has not yet proposed a legislative package and declined to project the likelihood of a timeline of such legislation passing. Biden earlier this week said he will not wait for another mass shooting to take place to take gun action. We're going to talk about this in a different video, but one of the things that I, I have a personal belief in, why is the National Guard still sitting at the Capitol right now? Why do you suppose that is? Do you think that they're going to start pushing legislative action that could piss off a lot of people and their Second Amendment rights? Why else would they have the National Guard guys sitting there with fence and Constantina wire? They're getting ready to announce something big that's going to piss a lot of people off. And I mean, basically, I think what they're going to do is, uh, well, we're going, to, we're going to join this Communist Party thing from China. Probably got him talked into it. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I digress. Uh, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below, man. Uh, Biden, he's a coward. He's scared. And uh, you know what? He's being run by Susan Rice and the gang. And it's just disgusting that he has invited all these people from the pre-Obama era back into his little deal, the reset of these United States. And it's not a very good one. It's Code of Boy 32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform who support our Constitution and our Bill of Rights. This was written by our founding fathers. I'm going to say a little, who am I? KB32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Oh, 24-7 for freedom is not free. I keep forgetting that one. Y'all be good.